Uh, she's unconscious, so the doctors are with her now. I have to be with her when she comes to. It's absolutely vital that I'm with her. Vicki, are you all right? No, I'm not all right. I have to be with Allison. We have to have witnesses because I want Allison to tell Captain Moore exactly what she told me in the parking lot before she was hit by the car. Yeah, I'd like to speak to the young lady myself. Yeah, I, what's the urgency? The urgency is that Allison Perkins confessed to kidnapping Jessica. A Allison confessed? Yes, she did. She called me earlier today and told me that it was very, very important that we meet. So I agreed. I got there. We met. She confessed. And now, of course, she's unconscious. That's someone that's an accomplice. They are. Allison's been here at the hospital working or at the trial with Dan. Yeah, so the accomplice was taking care of the baby while Allison was working. No, she didn't say that. She just, but she did say she had help bringing Jessica back. Whoever did take care of the baby did a good job. I mean, Jessica was in perfect shape when I examined her. But Allison, I can't figure that out. Oh, really? What, is it easier to figure that I kidnapped my own baby? Is that what you're saying, Larry? Uh, honey, why would Allison do something like that to us? We barely know her. No, but we knew Mitch Lawrence, and so did Allison. Mitch Lawrence programmed her, Clint. Programmed her? Yes. Well, we, we all saw the enormous effect he had on people. We saw with Joy when she was a disciple at the mission. Mitch Lawrence is dead. He programmed her before he died. He programmed her to do exactly what he wanted her to do. It's some sort of, I don't know, post-hypnotic suggestion or something. Don't you see now that's how it happened? Sweetheart. You're very upset. I mean, you, you believe me. You do believe me, don't you, that Allison confessed, don't you? You look exhausted. Dr. Wallach, isn't there something you can do? Maybe you should try and get some rest, Vicki. Vicki, why don't you try to go lay down or You something? don't believe me. None we're, of you believe we're me. We're not saying that. You are willing to believe anybody before you will take my word for what happened. Because you've all already decided that I've lost my mind, haven't you? Haven't you? Saying that you lost your mind. We're worried about you, Vicki. You've been through a lot. We just need more facts is all. My, my word simply isn't good enough. That's what it is, Clint. Larry, as soon as it is medically possible, I have to see Allison, and I have to see her in the presence of a law enforcement officer, and I am not leaving this hospital until I have proof. Okay. Would you like a, a Saturday? No, Larry, thank you. I'm just fine. Look, I'm, uh, I'm going to go get you some coffee, all right? Fine. Thank you. Sounds very far fetched, but I really do want to believe my wife, Bill. So do I. Well, how do we prove it? Okay. Well, we'll get what a if Allison doesn't come to? We'll get a warrant to search her apartment. We've got patrol cars cruising in the neighborhood looking for that damaged sports car. Okay. Did, uh, did Vicky see? the car? No, she said it came out of nowhere. None of them can give a positive ID on it. None of them? Yeah. None of them? What? Okay. There were two other witnesses, Mr. Bascom and Mrs. Roberts. Rob Maria Roberts? They both said it was too dark. They were blinded by the headlights. What the hell was Maria doing in the banner parking lot? Did she hear Allison's confession? No, your wife was alone with Allison at the time of the accident. I have some information that might be help. Well, I hope it's about Miss Perkins' condition. No, there's no change there. It's, it, her clothing was torn when she was hit. There was, a, there was a fragment of fabric missing from her slacks. Well, maybe you got stuck on the hit-and-run vehicle. Yeah. We'll need a sample of that fabric. Make sure you get it from the floor nurse. Uh, what about her relative? 
Have, have they been notified? Well, I contact Warden Perkins at the station. My mother lives somewhere out in New Jersey. We'll locate her. Okay. You'd let, let her call me if, uh, if you need any help with that. Absolutely, Doc. I'm going to tell Dan about this. I'll, I'll see you all later. All right. Nurse, excuse me, I'm Mrs. Buchanan. How's Allison? Her condition remains unchanged. Do you know if her parents are here? No. No, I don't, I don't really think they... Actually, I don't even think they've been notified. Oh. Thank you. Downstairs helping her with some problem she's having with Baron Pharmaceutical. Oh, she oh. said Vicky wasn't hurt. She's shaking up a little bit. I I just went to go get her some coffee and I saw her walking out the front door of the hospital. Oh. Well, I guess she went home to tell Clint that she's okay. Well, Clint's here. See this uh, this Nikki Smith thing sort of put a strain on their marriage. <laughs> Are you surprised? They could survive anything, that's all. Look, how would you like to hear some great news? Yeah, yeah I'm game. <laughs> <clears throat> I got a telegram from Bo, and I am meeting him in Paris, and we're going to continue our honeymoon. Gee, that is fantastic. <laughs> oh, yes, boy, that's the second best news I've heard all month. Well, what's the first best? That your sister said yes to my proposal. Remember? Yeah, of course, I no. forgot. Yes, yes. I don't. I want you to worry. I remembered your lecture by heart that she'll knock my block off if I let her down. Oh, right? look, after everything I saw today, there are no guarantees to a perfect marriage, believe me. Well, all you can do is try. And believe me, I'm going to try because I love your sister very much. I know you do. And I love Bo very much, but I was ready to give up on him just a couple weeks ago. But you didn't. No, I didn't. Hung in there, didn't I? I mm -hmm. guess that's my claim to fame. Well, I think it's it's your courage, your good sense, and all the love that you give to this family. You know, it's almost like we're not even a family anymore. All the sisters are separated now. Come on, it's only geography, and they, and they have these new uh, inventions, these mechanical devices that fly through the air. Cute. Cute. <laughs> are you going to stay in Landview? We're not sure. We, we may. We may not. I hope you do. Well, we bought round-trip tickets just in case, but I think Connie and I are both looking forward to, to trying something new. Well, look, why don't you meet me and Bo in Paris? After all this time, I would think you two would want to be alone. I don't mean in the same honeymoon suite. You guys can come over, play with us a little while, have fun in France, and then mm. you get bored with us, you go someplace well, else. Well, that's tempting, you know. Of course, we, we may love it so much. We, we won't want to leave. That might not be a bad idea. I think we could be a family there as much as we are here. Yeah, think about that. Yeah, well, I'd better meet that guy. I have to deal with that problem at Baron Pharmaceuticals. That's great about Bo. Oh. Thanks. Brad? I just want to tell you that I, I just think it's really great that you got back into contact. Does somebody say something to me? 